Dorothy Jane Scott's story is a haunting and mysterious tale that unfolded in the late 1970s and early 1980s. Dorothy, a young single mother, worked as a secretary for a small and unassuming engineering company in Anaheim, California. She was known for her strong work ethic, devotion to her young son, and her deep religious faith. The eerie events began on the evening of May 28, 1980. Dorothy dropped off her four-year-old son, Sean, at her parents' house and headed to a local hospital. A co-worker, Conrad Bostron, had been bitten by a black widow spider, and Dorothy, always eager to help, went along to the hospital to provide support. As the night progressed, the doctors treated Conrad, and Dorothy decided to leave the hospital to get her car ready for her co-worker's release. However, when she stepped outside, she noticed something strange. Her car's headlights were on. Concerned that someone might be tampering with her vehicle, she asked Conrad to accompany her to check it out. As they approached the car, they saw that the headlights were now off. A sudden feeling of dread washed over them when they noticed a man standing near the car. Dorothy described him as having a weird grin and wearing all black clothing. She immediately turned and hurried back into the hospital with Conrad. The man never approached them or said anything, but his eerie presence left them unsettled. Inside the hospital, Dorothy reported the incident to the hospital staff, expressing concern for her co-worker's safety. She described the man as a stranger she had never seen before. Conrad offered to walk her to her car later that night, and Dorothy agreed. She stayed close to her friend, and they quickly made their way to her car. Once safely inside, she thanked Conrad and drove off. That was the last time anyone would see Dorothy Scott alive. The next day, Dorothy's family became concerned when she didn't show up to pick up her son, Sean, from her parents' house. They reported her missing to the police, and the search for Dorothy began. For the next four years, Dorothy's family and law enforcement tirelessly looked for her, but she seemed to have vanished without a trace. During this time, the family's anguish was compounded by a series of disturbing phone calls. An unknown man, who seemed to know intimate details about the family's activities, began calling Dorothy's parents. He alternated between professing his love for Dorothy and making chilling threats against her and her family. Then, on August 6, 1984, a construction worker stumbled upon skeletal remains in a remote area of Anaheim Hills. Dental records confirmed that the remains were those of Dorothy Scott. Her belongings were found nearby, including a turquoise ring and a watch, neither of which her family recognized. The cause of Dorothy's death could not be definitively determined due to the state of the remains. The circumstances surrounding her disappearance and death remain a mystery. The unidentified caller never resurfaced, leaving behind a chilling trail of unanswered questions. The story of Dorothy Scott is a tragic and unsettling one, characterized by its eerie details and unsolved nature. To this day, her family continues to seek answers and closure, haunted by the memory of a devoted mother and the mysterious circumstances that took her life.